Hi, my name is Tyler Alexander and I'm a graduate of Xavier University of Louisiana. I graduated with a degree in chemistry. I was a part of their Build Project Pathways program. I worked with Dr. Tyra Gross on our research topic, which was black women and fibroids. And in the fall, I will be attending Brown University to pursue my master's in public health and I will be a part of their health equity scholars program. Today, I am wearing a black blazer with a white shirt underneath. I have AirPods in, my hair tied back, and I am in a blue room. So I grew up in Bowie, Maryland, which is a majority African-American um, town. I live in the suburbs about 30 minutes outside of DC. My hometown is very quiet. Um, a lot of people's parents work in DC. Um, I spent some weekends there doing, just exploring the city, uh, historic sites, things of that nature. But for the most part, uh, me and my parents spent a lot of time in Maryland, just like going to parks, bike riding. I used to do that with my dad a lot before I had left for college. I, as a child, I participated in music and dance and also was interested in math for a lot of my life. I didn't really find interest in science until I got to high school. At that point in time, I found a lot of interest in chemistry, which was actually the reason why I pursued chemistry in college. And I also was a part of my high school's pharmacy technician program. And so after you take two years of pharmacy technician classes, and then after you graduate from the school, you get to take your pharmacy technician class, your test, and you pretty much are a certified pharmacy technician at that point in time. So I spent the summer before my freshman year working in the pharmacy. So I knew I wanted to work in healthcare. That's originally what I had thought. And so I was pre-med in college and eventually found other interests for science as I moved into undergrad. And so that's why I'm now pursuing public health. Like I said, I was originally pre-med in undergrad and then my first summer had come along after freshman year. And so the pre-med office was like, you need to do some kind of experience. So I went and I applied for some research programs and I ended up doing research at Vanderbilt my first summer and I loved the idea of research. So after that, I was just like, I can't really see my life without research at this point in time. And that's what really encouraged me to get into research and take my understanding of chemistry and the education that I've gotten so far and just take it a bit further and outside of the pre-med realm. My last year, I was responsible for helping another BUILD student come on and understand our research project. And so I've been able to help and essentially like mentor in a way, as well as also just learning how to work with the team and just being goal oriented and making sure that we're meeting our goals and asking questions and just continuing to critically think. I feel like with regards to imposter syndrome and build, I think that I've received a lot of encouragement and support. So not only from Dr. Gross, but also the leadership team of build helping me meet deadlines and coming up with plans to make sure that I'm successful and I will meet my goal. And I've gotten nothing but encouragement from them. And because of that, I've felt confident as I moved into trying to find what my next path will be after Xavier. And I feel like with their help, I think it's helped me a lot to just believe in myself and understand that even though I never dreamed of doing these things, I am accomplishing them. And so to just stand in that and be proud and just continue to remind myself that I belong in those spaces. fall I will be attending Brown University and I will also be a part of their health equity scholars program. I will be pursuing my master's in public health. 
I'm still unsure about my concentration. I don't have to decide until my second semester there. So um, I'm thinking about epidemiology or health services. And I will be doing a research assistantship with a faculty member at the school. I don't exactly know who my faculty member will be, but hopefully I will be working in a field or working on a topic related to health disparities or um, maternal child health, sexual and reproductive health. That's really where my interests lie. And so I hope to find a mentor that matches my interests in research. I would definitely say work hard, apply for everything, even if you don't think that you're qualified because you will surprise yourself and it doesn't hurt to apply and have confidence in yourself and don't be afraid to network and also get mentorship and ask people for advice. And yeah, I think that those would be my pieces of advice. My name is Tyler Alexander, and this is my story.